Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I pack a tiny suitcase with a ton of stuff for a weekend away in Venice. Now we're flying with EasyJet and uh, we're just bringing on our cabin bags. If you're not familiar with EasyJet policy, to go, you can obviously pay to put a big bag in the hold. You can bring on board a cabin bag, like a carry-on bag, and you don't have to pay any extra. But there is quite, it is quite restricted. You're not allowed to bring a handbag or anything extra unless you pay for, I think it's if you've got a membership with EasyJet or if, you've, if you want to sit in like more leg room seats or something like that, then you're entitled to bring on an extra little bag. But me and my friends aren't, we're just bringing on a carry-on. Now the dimensions of the bag, it's quite small. It's 56 by 45 by 25, I think. And this is my little bag. As you can see, it is quite tiny. It is really small. I think this cost me like 13 pounds in a shop called the Factory Clearance Shop, if you're aware of that, so super cheap. <laughs> and yeah, it's a tiny bit smaller than the maximum dimensions you can bring on to EasyJet. So at least it makes me feel, right, okay, there's no chance really, unless I really stuff it up, of um, it being declined and having to go into the hold and me pay out like 30 odd pound. So this is my bag. <laughs> so small. So we are going from Friday to a Monday and in my bag I've got all my items laid out on the floor which I'll show you but I and also I'll show you how I pack and what has worked for me. It's been a bit of a hassle, gotta be honest. Had to try and put things in, try and take things out, muddle all things about, really cut down on my jewellery, my makeup, even clothing and underwear. <laughs> you know, it has to be quite rigid and restricted in what I'm bringing. Plus my actual handbag, because as I said, I can't wear it over my shoulder, so I've got to put it inside my bag. Now, I'm really worried about this. I'm sure it'd be fine, but it's got my camera in. For the purpose of this video, because my camera is actually filming me now, I have put a little box in my handbag, which I'll show you in a minute, which is roughly the same sort of size as my camera, just, just for demonstration purposes. But I have to put my camera and all the equipment, my, I've got um, little lenses, I've got Pixta lenses for my iPhone and I've got batteries and chargers, all that. All my camera equipment is going to go in my handbag and my handbag has to go in this little bag along with everything else. So it's a bit of a pain. If only I could just carry my handbag, it would make life a heck of a lot easier. But then I suppose I'm not paying, am I? <laughs> I'm not paying to bring my bags on the plane. So really I can't complain. So anyway, I'll show you all my items that I'm going to put in the bag. I'll just show you what I'm bringing. So this is one set of pyjamas. So my aim is to have a shower every night. So <laughs> at least they hopefully be clean. A scarf. And then these are a pair of leggings that I'm just going to put on underneath my dress when I go into the basilica. Then these are my monthlies. A selection of monthlies as it happens to be my time of the month. Bras, knickers. This is a long black maxi dress, um, obviously a day dress, a day dress, a little hat, a night dress or an evening out dress, my long play suit, a long kimono to wear with this black long maxi dress there, another hat, <laughs> another dress and I'll show you what's inside there in a minute. So in here is my hair extensions. I've got a halo hair piece and some clip-on hair extensions and a little comb. So it's quite protected in there really but I wanted it to be quite flat. And then I've got charger, headphones, adapter plugs. So this is my makeup bag which is currently empty and these are all the makeup items that I'm bringing. 
not a lot i have actually got a lot of stuff in here which is my liquids bag which i'll talk to you in a minute so yeah it took me quite a while to figure out what makeup to bring so just my very basics really and then i've got my monopod for my camera and then i've got a monopod or tri little tripod for my iphone i've got two pairs of sunglasses always have two pairs <laughs> And then here, I've got in here all hair accessories, like clips and bobbles and things like that. I've got a brush, which I've borrowed off my daughter. And it, instead of having a brush and a comb, it's a wet brush, so I can use it as soon as I've got a shower. In here are my brushes. So I've got a selection of brushes that I like to use. In here is all my jewellery, which, hold on. I'll just open up. Not sure if you can see. So I've got it's mainly um, silver, but it looks gold there because I've got some gold bangles. But I've got all my. I'll show you. I'll show you. Oh my gosh! I shouldn't have done that, should I? <laughs> I thought all my rings would be together. Never mind. So besides my rings, I've got earrings in here. So all my little earrings in there and different necklaces in these bags. So I've got a selection, a good selection. And yeah, and lots of bracelets. And I'm actually going to be wearing some tomorrow. And some of my big necklaces, which I need to sort out really. So, so yeah, <laughs> all that goes in there. And then I showed you my brushes. And then in here, this is my toiletries bag, but I'll come back to that because this is what these, this bag is all about. Um, got a belt to wear with that dress over there with the flowers on and the hat. And then I've got hair tongs and a pair of shoes. And I think, and I think that's about it. So coming back to this, oh, it's not closed. It's this pesky shampoo here. I need to possibly fold it down a bit more. So for liquids on a plane, you have to put it, all your liquids into a clear bag and the bag can't measure more than 20 centimetres by 20 centimetres. Now I couldn't find that, so this is actually a 20 by, no, a 19 by 21 or 19 by 22. So I'm hoping they're gonna, it's going to be fine. So you can fill this with as m many products as you can, or as you want, I should say as long as it can close and as long as each item does not exceed 100 ml now or no it did shut earlier on but it's this i got sachets i got sachets of shampoo there and i need to fold it down really and then it will shut properly so I'll just get another bag maybe. So in here, I've got, I won't get it out because it might take me a while to get it in. I've got, um, because I'm weird, I've got fake tan on. This is a facial fake tan that I had in a subscription box and it's quite nice. So I'm gonna put that on overnight and just for my face, because my face tends to lose the fake tan really quickly. And then I've got shower gel. I've got two Factor 50 suntan lotions. And then I've got primer, a setting spray, shampoo, cleansing lotions, um, what else have I got there? Lipsticks, mascaras, um, concealer, perfume, toothpaste, eyelash glue. Oops, everything's coming out now. <laughs> um, hairspray, and yeah, what else is in there? I can't really see. Yeah, so I've got quite a selection in there. So I just need to sort that out and then it does close. So I'm not worried because I do know it does close. So this is what I would be getting out when I get to the airport. I'll be taking this little bag out and putting it on the conveyor belt. And then once I get through um, security, I'll put it all back in this bag. And then hopefully I will find space to put it in my little carry-on bag because you'll see when I pack I actually put this and my makeup at the bottom so I'm gonna have to reevaluate that so that's all my items as you can see 
there is a load <laughs> there is a lot and I'm actually wearing another hat I've got a black hat I wear hats all the time when I'm on holiday so I'm actually going to be wearing a maxi dress um, with a pair of brown sandals and um, a black hat so there you go so what I'm going to do now I'm going to put everything in the bag and I'm going to speed it up a little bit just to show you how I do it <laughs> and close it now so I hope that everything will be okay the only issue I've got is if you remember me saying I've got this bag of toiletries I'm gonna have to put it on the top instead of the bottom only because it's just gonna be a nightmare having <laughs> to delve down deep to get it when I reach the airport so this is my bag in here I haven't done it but I'm gonna put my euros and my passport and some you know um, British pounds and everything like that just for when I'm in the airport and it's just easy to get so yeah one good thing about EasyJet is that they don't mind how heavy your bag is um so yeah so I'm gonna put my name on there just in case there is a chance that if you don't get on board quite early on that your bag might have to go in the hold which you won't get, be charged for but there might be a chance that you have to you know because there might not be enough room actually to put your bag which would be a pain because it just means that instead of just walking off the air, um, plane you're gonna have to go and find your bag on the carousel but not to worry fingers crossed it won't happen and we'll be able to get on board and put our bags up no problem so yeah so that is it that is my bag all the items that I've managed to put inside. Really happy, really, really happy. And um, yeah, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, this bag I actually bought last year when I went to Malta and it was brilliant. Ryanair are a little bit more flexible. As well as having similar sort of dimension bag you can carry on onto the cabin, you can actually bring a handbag which is really handy, really handy. But as I said, with EasyJet you can't. Everything has to go inside here. But, because I was a bit worried about that initially and I thought this bag is going to be way too small because I knew the sizing and everything was a little bit smaller than the actual maximum I could have. So I went and I bought a, it's a hard case, suitcase, for, uh, I think it was about £17 from Argos on the sale. Really lovely case and I will use it but it's a hard case so you zip it and it splits in two and you've got one section which has got a zip all the way around that you know you can separate. There's no way I can put all of this in there. Even though the sizing is a bit bigger than this bag, I can't fit all my items in there. And I think it's because of the design of it, because it's quite a hard suitcase. Plus, you know, it's got those separate compartments. I think this, got this material, and yeah, it can stretch a little bit and you can just bung things in on top of each other. And yeah, so definitely, definitely, invest in one of these you know 15 pound or so really really cheap but much better than those hard cases yeah this is definitely definitely a better suitcase so yeah so yeah i'm leaving tomorrow <laughs> i hope you like this video if you did please leave a like and yeah if you'd like to see more 
please subscribe. I have got some vlogs coming up. I am going to be doing a top tips um, video, a, like a travel guide when I go to Venice. They're just daily vlogs. And yeah, I can't wait. So if you're not interested in any of my travel and you're only interested in my beauty reviews, then don't worry. Just ignore all my Venice stuff because I'm going to put all my videos up like one after the other after the other and I'll do it over just like one week so so yeah so if you're interested great but if you're not don't worry it's just one week of travel stuff and then it'll be back to normal until my next trip away which I haven't got a clue when <laughs> so thank you for watching take care bye <laughs>